Sure, my name is Chris Sandvig. I am the Regional Policy Director for the Pittsburgh Community Reinvestment Group. I re lead our Goberg Initiative, which is focused on predominantly on public transportation's role in our urban environment, the economic engine it is, the uh, equitable transportation mode that it is, and how for well over a decade now we have been neglecting that vital form of transportation, but also now even just the basic underpinnings of transportation throughout the Commonwealth. This is the uh, Kenmar Bridge. It straddles the line between Swissvale and Rankin. Rankin being one of the poorest municipalities in the state. Uh, median household income is below 20,000. Uh, the bridge has been weight restricted for a very long time. Uh, the weight restriction was lower to six tons uh, in uh, the winter of this year. Uh, and the sidewalks are closed. Um, this is a very heavily trafficked bridge for cars, buses, trucks, pedestrians in particular. We're right at the end of the eastern end of the uh, East Busway. Um, and uh, from a mobility perspective, with a lot of affordable housing in this area, uh, getting to the bus is a challenge to say the least for people living in this area. And we're calling attention today to the vital need to fund our transportation infrastructure so that people of this area and throughout the region and throughout the state really have equitable access to opportunity and can lift themselves up. This, this, is, uh, this is a bridge, as you can hear behind us, uh, that is uh, used quite a bit. We're not in the middle of nowhere here. Um, there are about 15,000 cars a day that use this bridge. The walkway was put in by the borough after the historic sidewalks were closed. Um, and it's not even wide enough for uh, a stroller, much less a wheelchair. Uh, or say a stroller for two. Um, the, uh, it's unsafe, it's dark at night. Um, a lot of people take their lives in their hands quite literally once they get to this side of the bridge trying to cross to the busway because the cars coming up on the other side really can't see you because of the slope. Um, so from a, from a walker's perspective, uh, it is really uh, a nightmare. Um, anything else? I know we spoke this with the other guy about like how pretty wood this is a big problem yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, this, 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 we, you know, like I said, we are not on a road that nobody uses. This is a major artery for the Mon Valley. And uh, the Mon Valley has enough problems that it's dealing with in terms of blight and abandonment and uh, stranded individuals. Uh, to have this bridge in this condition and to be at the point now where you can't even take a bus across it, it takes. 15 minutes for a bus to basically do a U to get back to the busway uh, is a serious hindrance to any sort of revitalization that might occur in the valley. We stand uh, with the residents of Pennsylvania for adequate transportation funding and we are urging uh, the House to pass Senate Bill 1 in the fall and we urge everybody to call their legislator to tell them. So, yeah, th this area has seen some service reduction, um, not as much as other areas. You know, fortunately, this is an area where there's a lot of transit usage. Uh, during the day, um, but it was on the chopping block with the 35% service reduction, particularly a lot of the routes that are now detoured because of the the, uh, the bridge situation. And in fact, we have a truck illegally coming down here now trying to take it across the bridge. Oh, okay.